Yenzi, I know you had a question about how to make your uh, chair. So make sure, so what I did is I started with a uh, sphere and then, you know, however big you want to make it. And then I took this cylinder, which is a whole cylinder right here. And I also made it so, so that we can cut a hole inside of your sphere. So here it is. I will kind of elevate it here and put it inside of your chair like this. Boom, that looks pretty cool. Okay, so you can double click drag and that is what's gonna be in your group. And then that makes that. Now I did notice that the bottom looks kind of spherical, which is not what your chair looks like. You wanna have room for the feet, so shift. And when you hold shift down, you can actually make it uh, uh, <coughs> proportional. So the length and the width are the same proportion. So I did that and I changed the height here. So we'll move our chair over here so that it doesn't um, have that round bottom. And, and I wanna make this a little uh, taller because you know my chair, uh, height is uh, about like that and then make this look a little more comfy so we're going to give this a tilt maybe uh, 10 degrees and there you go so it looks like that and when you double click drag you don't have to put every object whatever object fits partially inside of that yellow sorry that red dotted square is gonna be what you select for your group so now I have it grouped all together and boom, you can have that part of the chair. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, actually made it a little crooked. I think I went around along the wrong axis, but I think you get the idea so that it's not crooked like this. Okay, let's try and do it better then. All right, so what I did is move this here. We're going to tilt this. There you go. Okay, whatever is in that box will be selected. And boom, that's your chair. Now, all you need to do is add the legs. And that, there you have it. Okay. Good luck with that. <laughs>